subscribe now and press the bell icon never miss an update welcome to civil tech forum today we will be discussing about the reinforcement in column as per the codal provisions that is is 456 2000 here we are referring page number 48 based on that page number 48 we'll come to know what should be the percentage of reinforcement that is minimum and maximum and how many number of bars to be provided based on the codal provisions so let us start this session before going to that if you not subscribe my channel please subscribe and press bell icon here as a first step the type of columns need to be studied here first one is square column another one is rectangle another one is circular okay will be the provisions are given in the is 456 for square rectangular as well as the circular columns here when it comes to the percentage of reinforcement the minimum percentage of reinforcement to be used in a column is 0.8% of the the cross section and the maximum percentage is 6% of the total cross section of the column so here that means for example the size of the column is 230 by 300 mm the minimum reinforcement percentage is equal to 0.8% of 230 into 300 and the maximum percentage is 6% of 230 into 300 so actually the reinforcement depends on load on the column first one load on the column second the grade of concrete grade of concrete and the third one is the height of the column that means whether it is a axially loaded column by axial column or any axial column based on that okay we'll come to know what percentage or what is the actual reinforcement in the column whereas here the minimum and maximum percentage is 0.8 to 6% and when it comes to the minimum number of bars it is minimum number of bars in a column for square and rectangular it is minimum four numbers and when it comes to the circular columns it is six numbers and even the 4 and 6 numbers apart from this if the spacing of bar in the column is exceeding 300 mm that means one bar to another bar if it is exceeding 300 mm in that case you need to provide additional reinforcement to avoid to avoid the spacing okay the spacing between these two reinforcement should not exceed 300 mm okay so it these things are there in is 456 2000 page number 48 okay here we'll uh, in the next video we'll discuss uh, some more provisions of uh, design of columns as well as design of structural elements okay to get the notifications of those videos please subscribe my channel and press bell icon and if you really like this video like press like button as well as share with your friends thank you